Attachments are a pretty new feature of the GeoDatabase. I believe they were introduced with ArcGIS 10. And often, they, well, what they're used for is to attach uh, files to features in your database. Often these are things like images, such as JPEG files, or uh, things like PDFs, which reference documents. What we're going to do is load some photographs into an attachments table and set up the relationship class entries with associated lake features. So I've already got a workspace set up for this one here. Uh, before we take a look at it, let's take a look at the data that we're working with. So I have a number of JPEG images and these are here in my um, photos folder. Okay, so these ones here, about six of them. And I'm going to be working with the uh, lake area feature class in my geo database. So that's this polygon feature class here. And then my source data, if we look at that in the viewer, just, I'll just select this lake here. And notice that there is this OBJ name. This one is Bolinas Lagoon. Notice I have a Bolinas Lagoon.jpg. So you can kind of see how we're going to be joining the. Um, the pictures to the spatial features themselves. It's, we're going to be using um, the name of the lake. Okay, so this workspace is a little more complex than what uh, we've been showing you so far. Um, and I'll just step through the main portions of this workspace. So at the top here, we're just reading our lake area feature. At the bottom here, we're using our directory and path, uh, or directory and file reader to read the photos in. I actually want to show you what that reader does. So I'm going to use that reader in the FME viewer here and read those JPEG files. I, I'd like you guys to see what kind of attribution um, ends up on your features. So it's the directory and file path, name, path names reader. And what you need to do is select the folder that contains the photos. And of course, there's no spatial data here, so I have to use my select no geometry button to look at the attribution here. If we go to the right, I've got uh, my six features here, one of six. And I'm just going to navigate uh, over to our Bolinas Lagoon picture. So take a look at the kind of information we have here. We have a full Windows path. We have a path root name, so that will exactly match that OBJ name that's in, this, in the uh, spatial data. Got things like extension, um, etc. So there's some useful information in there. So that's how we're reading the photos in at the bottom here. So let's focus on this top bookmark now. Um, the trick to working with uh, attachments is to set up again format attributes. This time, relationship format attributes. So what's happening up here is we're telling the writer that this feature has relationships by setting the GeoDB feature has relationships to yes. I then need to uh, add a unique ID in the form of the GeoDB OID format attribute. This is the equivalent of object ID. And then that top stream there, I'm just writing straight to the lake area feature class. In this bottom stream here, I'm just taking a copy of all those features, and the attribute renamer is uh, copying that GeoDB OID to a GeoDB rel origin OID. The origin is in the name there because the lake areas are the origin table in my relationship class. I should probably show you guys that in our catalog first. So I created these um, beforehand. So for lake areas, we created the attachments. And these are the two tables that were created. There's our relationship class. Properties will tell us lake area is the origin table. And my lake area feature underscore attach is the destination table. OK, so that's the uh, top part of the workspace there. We're doing the exact same thing with our JPEG images here. This time in the attribute renamer, we're mapping to GeoDB rel destination OID. And then the bottom part of the workspace here is we're simply setting up fields for the underscore attach table. Basically, this attribute copier is copying some of the those uh, um, source attributes that we just saw in the viewer to target attributes. Of course, the key is really that rel object ID. Another key attribute here is the attribute file reader. So this is essentially taking that uh, path windows attribute, so the full path to the JPEG, 
reading that file and, and it'll put, it's putting it as a blob into our uh, data field on our destination table. And then that all gets written to that underscore attached table. The bottom of the workspace, the middle of the workspace is basically where we set up the relationship and the feature merger is key for that. Again, we're connecting the uh, lakes to the uh, images using the OBJ name from the spatial features and the path root name from the, the pictures. Then we just set up this another format attribute called GeoDB type, set it to GeoDB relationship and write that all of that to our relationship table. So that's essentially it. I'm going to run this now and while this is running, what I will say is you, are, you guys are all going to get all of these workspaces after the webinar. If you do need to work with relationship classes or, annota or sorry, attachments, what I recommend is not to start from scratch. Take this workspace and modify it with your data and simply go into the various transformers and adjust them to your need. It's easier than starting from scratch. Okay, so let's go in and take a look at what we have here in our attachments table. So there we go, we've got uh, our six um, features there. Easier to take a look at this in ArcMap, so I'm going to drag over the lake area features onto the canvas there and uh, take a look at one of the attachments for that big lake. So if I identify this guy here, Notice I have the attachments available to me now and I can go ahead and bring up the attachment for that particular lake. And of course those attachments don't have to be images, do they, Mita? They no. can be any document or anything exactly. that can be stored in a blob in the... Exactly. The yeah, yeah. Typically, um, I think PDFs are probably one of the more common formats um, for document type attachments. Okay. And just to reiterate what Nita said a little earlier, that uh, there are a lot of format attributes in there. It's kind of a, a little bit confusing sometimes, but the pattern is very repeatable, so pretty well any attachment works in the same way. And uh, so grab that example when it gets published onto uh, the website with this webinar, and then you'll be able to quite easily create your own attachment uh, configurations. Mm -hmm. All right, so just to review what we did. Attachments must be built with ArcGIS tools. You cannot create them with FME. But again, if you do have an XML workspace document, use that template file parameter instead on the GeoDatabase writer and let FME create the model for you um, before it loads the data. This is a list of the format attributes that are available that need to be set uh, when writing to um, attachments. And so we do have somebody here. Do we know the answer to this question that somebody's asked? Is how many attachments can be linked to a feature class? Do we know whether we can link more than one attachment to a particular record? We don't know the answer. We don't to know it. the answer to that. Let's uh, take so a look at. Well, let's just take a quick, quick look in our catalog and see if it's a one-to-many relationship class. I think that will. Um, it is a one-to-many relationship class. So I, I'm guessing that yes, you can have. Uh, more than one attachment um, per feature. 